Hello and welcome. My name is Janie and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist in Los Angeles, California. If this is your first time here on my YouTube channel, I hope that you will subscribe. There are many videos that you can go back and explore and there are so many more to come to help you to really dive down into the depths of your associations, to learn the power of your subconscious mind, and to eliminate unwanted thoughts and behaviors. You do have the power to do all of that and more. And my job as a professional clinical hypnotherapist is to use the biggest tool you have, your subconscious mind, to help you, to, to show you, and to be your guide uh, so that you can remember what it is that you have deep down inside that is effective to change what no longer works. As a clinical hypnotherapist, I use this platform here to engage with you all over the world to not only talk to you about what hypnosis is and what it isn't, but to show you the way through many different journeys, journeys that assist in, in numbers of areas. And we've already touched on many, and I'd like to go back to one that we've, we've talked a little bit about, but not quite as in-depth as we are today. And that is fears and phobias. And in this journey, we're going to do what's called systematic desensitization of fears and phobias. It's a way for you to really break it down piece by piece because isn't that the best and effective way to approach anything that's big and heavy and scary? It is systematically the right thing to do to take it one bit at a time because when you have a fear or a phobia and if you're really thrown in if you're emerged if you're saturated in that fear it could in fact enhance that fear even more so when we talk about what's called flooding um, when there are some people out there that think that just really throwing yourselves into the the lion pit so to speak is going to eliminate the fear of the lion well that really isn't going to be very effective more often than not that's only going to perpetuate the fear or the phobia when you hear me say fear or phobia there is a difference between those two words and i want to make sure that that is clear a fear is based on something actual, something that in fact did happen to you at one time. If you were bitten by a dog as a child, you would have a fear, perhaps, of dogs. Um, if you were uh, perhaps afraid to fly in an airplane, uh, you're afraid that you're going to be in an airplane crash, and yet you've never actually experienced it. That is what we call a phobia. A phobia is based on an exaggerated event that has not actually happened to you. Okay, so I want to make sure that that's very clear and that'll help you to know what it is that you're learning to face right now. Is it a fear or is it a phobia? Now, either way, both can be absolutely effectively eliminated through this process. And like I said, a systematic process is what works best. When we say desensitizing yourself to that fear or phobia, it's because at one point you sensitized yourself to it. You had an experience, perhaps talking in front of a group of people, and in that moment you had an anxiety that built up. Now it doesn't mean that you will always or would have always been anxious, but maybe you did have those first time jitters and you were a little less uh, steady on your feet than you would have wanted to be. Well, instead of accepting that maybe that was just a first-time experience and it'll only get better and easier as you experience it more and more, you decide that you'd rather not have to speak in front of an audience anymore. You start to notice the association that you feel when someone talks to you about public speaking. It starts to uh, evoke the same anxiety that you were feeling when you experienced it yourself. And eventually you disassociate yourself with that experience altogether. You absolutely refuse to allow it uh, to happen again. You, in your own way, uh, find a way to avoid it in any way, shape, or form. And when you have a total avoidance of something, you have now created a complete fear or phobia of that event or that experience. Once you have a complete avoidance, you absolutely will not do it. That can you know have a have a negative effect on your life. 
you know, if, if we're talking about flying in a plane again and, and you just absolutely will avoid flying in a plane at all costs, that could feasibly make an issue with uh, you trying to get to see family members or make it to a funeral or go on a vacation, travel the world, have some wonderful experiences and important ones. So as we take this journey, we're taking it one step at a time. And before we even begin, I want you to be very clear about what fear or phobia you are working on right now. Only one at a time. We don't want to overload you. Once you've made that choice, I want you to first break down the fear hierarchy that you have around that event or experience. For example, if we are talking about a fear of flying, break that down into six, eight, or ten steps of hierarchy. That might start with you being in the comfort of your own home, sitting in front of your laptop, and looking online uh, for airline tickets. Many times people who have fear or phobias of flying will already start to feel the anxiety with just that first step. So that's where I want you to start. Where does that fear of anxiety even begin? And remember, this is systematic. It's very important that we take it one step at a time. As we move you into the subconscious realm, as we start the process of desensitization, we are only working on that one first step of the fear of hierarchy. And if you've already watched this video and you're ready for step two, three, four, and so on, then I'm thrilled that you are moving through this at your pace and that you're ready to take that a step further. It's very important that we talk about those moments when anxiety could or may start to increase for you. Now there's different levels of anxiety. There's that first little tinge, that little flip of the stomach, uh, you know, the skin starts to feel a little uncomfortable, the shortness of breath. You might start to feel slight or moderate anxiety. If you do, in that moment, no matter what tier of hierarchy you are in, I want you to try to stay in that moment for about 30 seconds. No more than a minute should pass before I want you to retreat back into a peaceful, calm, and loving environment that I'm going to help you move towards. Again, this is at your pace, so I'm always going to be your home base for peace and security. I'm right here with you. If you feel like your anxiety has peaked to a panic level, that you're upwards in the 7, 8, 9, or 10 range of panic and anxiety, uh, then I do want you to retreat back. Okay, if you could try to stick with it for about 10 seconds, that would be great. If you can't, retreat back, find that peace, find that wonderful feeling of safety, and then move forward back towards that moment whatever that may be. If that is you sitting in front of your computer um, ordering an airline ticket or let's talk about it being a different scenario. Perhaps it's a, an abusive or narcissistic parent that you have trouble being around. Um, instead of you placing yourself um, in tier one right in the room with them and having a conversation, instead it would be you uh, perhaps driving into the city or town that they live in. Or if they live near you, maybe you're just driving past their house down the street. Okay, so take it at your pace. Determine what these different tiers are. If that means that you are pausing this video to do that and then coming back to it, uh, I highly encourage that. Okay, so this is a real process that you have to be very involved in and that you need to know where you're going before we start. Okay? So knowing now that uh, you have rewarded yourself um, with avoidance of this experience is important for you to understand. Um, you have been rewarded by not having to fear uh, the, the experience or the person or the animal or the plane or whatnot. So that has been a, a reward for you to just simply avoid it. What I'd like for you to do is to, in fact, reward yourself for the 
desensitization that will start to occur. Every time in your real and actual life that you can take a step closer to that experience, reward yourself in whatever way that is for you. Okay, that could be uh, some new clothes or a nice dinner, getting your nails done or uh, playing hooky and going surfing for the day or golfing or whatnot. So do something for you. It is very important that you are rewarding yourself. As much as you think that hasn't been a part of how you got here, it is. And that is how it's going to help pull you out. Uh, I want to assure you that this is a very natural experience for you, that you on your own go into hypnosis multiple times throughout the day when you're listening to music and zoning out or driving and arriving at your destination without remembering the commute or in those 30 minutes before you fall to sleep and when you wake up in the morning where you're a little foggy headed and kind of walking around like you're in a cloud. That is hypnosis. It's not this magical, mystical, mysterious thing that Hollywood would want you to believe it is, but what it is, is an absolutely amazing ability that we have as human beings, that our mind in the subconscious realm is so unbelievably powerful that it really can change the way that we live our life in the conscious realm. You know when you have a dream and it's solving all of your problems, that suddenly in the dream you're, you're making up with people that you have had a falling out with or you're suddenly uh, healthier um, or you're able to you know, have that dream of being a marine biologist or a baseball player uh, or you're an astronaut or you're doing these amazing things, you're solving problems, suddenly money is in the account or... Uh, you know, your children are, are, are behaving and you wake up and you realize, oh, that was just a dream. Man, that was good. That was good while I had it. Well, in fact, you are doing very important work. You are trying to project uh, a resolve in your life. You're trying in the subconscious realm to solve these problems and to show you what you are capable of and that you can do things and things can really start to turn around. So we are going to really do that now. We're going to take you to a place where you can be calm and in control and at peace. And one step at a time, you can start to face that one experience that you have been trying to avoid, that you have over time created a fear or a phobia towards. And this is it. This is that moment when you can let it go. It doesn't have to control you anymore. And as we learn through life, more often than not, when we're actually faced with the situation, when we're physically in it, and we're, we're going through those moments, we're thinking, you know what, this isn't as bad as, as it was in my head. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. That it almost always happens. So that fear, that phobia, our imagination runs away with us, and it really takes us to dark and scary places. So let's stop that. It doesn't have to be that way. And let's begin now. I want you to find a place that's very comfortable and, and relaxing for you, that's quiet, where you won't have any interruptions or distractions. I want you to make sure that your body is placed in a position where your arms are at your side, that your ankles are not crossed, and that your head and your neck, your shoulders and your hips are well aligned and well supported. And let's begin. With your body in a comfortable position, I want you to listen to the sound of my voice. And as you breathe in and breathe out, you are giving yourself permission to relax, release, and unwind. There is nothing else that you need right now than to relax the body. Release the body from the tension. The heaviness. Allow yourself to eliminate conscious thoughts slowly as they begin to move away from you. Higher and higher as you go deeper and deeper. The conscious thoughts will start to become muddled and quiet. Harder and harder to make out and hear and understand. And you will allow that 
allowing yourself to go deeper and deeper, allowing yourself to move into that subconscious realm of peace and positive change. That it is time now to eliminate unwanted thoughts and feelings, to eliminate the fears and phobias that have controlled your life, finding your way back to the control you've always had, learning again to trust yourself, knowing this is an opportunity to learn to be comfortable again in whatever situation you are presented with. Because you have survived every day so far, you have learned, you have grown, and you can face anything. You know you have handled so much. You have survived so much. You can't survive anything. Nothing is ever as bad as you've imagined it to be. That everything is okay and you are safe. Know this now with each deep breath. Know that you are actually going to feel better when you realize that you are in control. And the more you begin to feel these conscious thoughts moving around you, you feel the subconscious mind grabbing hold, pulling you deeper into a state of comfort and peace. With the power of the subconscious mind gives you that peace and comfort and well-being, a place of safety, warmth, that you can be in a place of peace and power all at once. What a wonderful realization that is. That peace and power can be together all at once. And that is such a wonderful realization. And from the top of your head, down the back of your neck, you can already feel a sense of comfort moving through you, river of relaxation and peace, wonderful well-being, begins to roll over the tops of your shoulders, from right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right, wonderfully calm and wonderfully happy wonderful sense of well-being. There is nowhere else that you'd rather be than right here, right now. There's nothing else that is more important than for you to be at peace, deeply relaxed, wonderfully calm. But you are moving into a place where you can desensitize yourself from unwanted thoughts and feelings. You can eliminate them and allow them to release off of your body, mind, and spirit. This is your time. This is your space. And where you hear my voice, you will find comfort and peace. And as you feel that river of relaxation rolling down from your shoulders, down your arms, right and the left, left and the right. There is such a change happening within you now. A change that you welcome. A change that you've needed. But you are ready. You are ready to feel that peace. You are ready to feel the calm. You are ready to know your power. You do right. Feel that river of relaxation moving down from your chest, all the way down, across your hips, and slowly moving into your feet. All the way down the right leg and the left, the left leg and the right. All the way down into the very tips of your 
And what a wonderful feeling that is. What a wonderful feeling of calm and peace within. A deep sense of well-being that moves throughout you. Everything is going to be okay. And as you inhale and exhale, you can feel the inhale and exhale changing you. You can feel the awareness already beginning to change. The body feels heavier, in fact heavier, as the spiritual body feels lighter and lighter. And somehow you do feel heavy and light all at once. 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 All at once. That's right. That's right. And as the body is so very relaxed and at peace, so very heavy and calm, there is nowhere else that you'd rather be than in this feeling of comfort and peace. And yet, no matter where you go, that peace will follow. No matter what you see, the peace within you is yours to keep. It is a gift you give to yourself, the power within you to allow it to be yours at any time, wherever you are. Whatever you experience, you will have peace. Because with peace is power, and power is peace. And the power of your subconscious mind is taking you deeper and deeper to show you what you can do. And as I count you from 20 to 0, you will eliminate any feelings of tension in the body. You will allow the entire body and spiritual body to feel light and heavy all at once. It lets you fall into a deeper state of subconsciousness, embracing the power within you and going deeper and deeper, falling into the very depths, the root of all of your thoughts and feelings, where everything began where anything at all can be changed. The time is now. And so at 20, as I say 20, you see it. And if you cannot see it, you feel it. It is absolutely there, right in front of you. There is no doubt about it. There is a 20 there. It's heavy, quite heavy, in fact. And if you reached out, touch it, feel it, trace it with your fingers you could feel the heaviness of it and as you reach grab hold and hold it to you the 20 will drop you down further it anchors you deeper into the subconscious awareness and the deeper you go the more benefit you have and with each count each number takes you deeper heavier and heavier with each count you reach out grab the number and allow it to take you deeper and deeper and deeper, very deep in fact, wonderfully peaceful, deep sense of well-being, power, peace, power, peace, 19, power, peace, 8, power, peace, 17, power, Deeper now. That's right. Very deep. Relaxed. Calm. Deep. At 14. Deeper now. Deeper. Relaxing. Even deeper. That's right. 13. Grabbing hold of that 13. Allowing it. Dropping deeper and deeper. Feeling yourself falling deeper. Pulling yourself further. 12. That's right. Deeper now. Relaxing. Falling. Deep sense of peace. Eleven. Eleven. The wonderful sense of calm. Eleven. Eleven. Ten. Ten. That's right. Ten. Dropping. Letting go. Ten. Ten is nine. Nine. Dropping. Dropping. Letting go. Dropping. Body getting heavy. Heavy. Spiritual body. Lighter. Lighter. A. A. Deep sense of peace. That's right. Wonderfully calm. Seven is a wonderful sense of come all the way to come seven six six five nine nine drop let it go five four four is the one three is two 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 is one one zero is deep deep peace 
deep, deep peace. Wonderful. And as you find yourself so relaxed, feeling so safe, so calm, such peace, I want you to hear yourself inside your head saying, I am at peace, and I have the power. I am at peace, and I have the power. I am at peace, and I have the power. And as you hear that in your own voice, I have the peace. I am at power. I am at peace. I have Feel yourself dropping even further. The more you find yourself facing your own truth, the truth of all that you can do and all that you are, the more at peace you feel. What a wonderful feeling that is. What a wonderful remembrance and revelation that is moving through you right now, through your veins, Mixing in the system of your body and allowing you to create a system now that will heal you, that will give you back the control, that will allow you to remember your own power to stay in peace. Peace is power and power is peace and you are in power you are in peace. With your eyes closed, your eyelids so very heavy and relaxed and calm, your body so heavy while your spiritual body is so very light and free, I want you to imagine yourself in your most favorite, wonderful, safe place. I want you to feel what it feels like to stand there as clearly as if you were always there. This is your home, your place of freedom, comfort and understanding, where you are deeply understood. And you will always be heard. You will always be protected. You will always be loved. place where you don't have to speak to explain yourself, where you don't have to conform, where you don't have to be someone you don't want to be, where you could just be yourself, a place that allows you to be free, to be at peace, and to feel power within you the value of your spirit, of this life that you live. This is your space where nothing at all could ever be wrong, where everything is right. Everything is perfectly right. And as you look around, you take in all the detail so clearly Every little detail is yours to soak in joy. And these details take you to this wonderful comfort and peace that you cannot deny and you won't deny yourself. It is a gift that you give to yourself to go deeper and deeper a gift that you give to yourself to find ultimate peace within. And with that peace, you are in control and you have the power, the power to change what you no longer need or want in your life, the power to eliminate unwanted thoughts and feelings, the power to face what you have been avoiding one step at a time one 
little step at a time. And because you have the power to do anything at all in this space, I want you to close your eyes right there where you are. And when you open them in the subconscious realm, I want you to see yourself in the first tier of what used to be a fearful experience. What used to be a fearful experience. You see yourself in that tear. You see yourself in that tear. But you allow that peace to move through you. Feeling of power, being in control. You feel that moving all around you. That peace. But you're surprised at how peaceful you can feel. How in control you are right now. And I want you to close your eyes now and find yourself back in that safe and peaceful, wonderful place. Safe, peaceful, wonderful place. Calm. Slowing down the heart rate. That's right. Because you can. You are in control. Allowing the blood flow to slow down. Allowing your breathing to slow down. That's right. Very good. That's right. Because you are in control. You are in and as I count you from five to zero, at zero, you will have your eyes closed, reopen them, and find yourself back in that same tier once again. At five, four, three, two, one, zero with peace and calm, open your eyes and see yourself there again, that first tier comfortable place once again. You are in control. Peace moves through you. Power all around you and within you. Now that's right. Very good. Wonderful steps now you take to eliminate these unwanted thoughts and feelings to be in control once again. That's right. Wonderful peace. Very that's right. And as I count you from five to zero, you close your eyes and reopen them back in your safe place. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Back in your safe place. Wonderfully calm. Wonderful peace. Knowing, feeling, the control, and the power. What a wonderful journey to know this, to remember this, to bring it as your truth back into your subconscious. The subconscious and conscious minds work together now to give you the peace that you so deserve, that you are ready for, that you are. And from the top of your head to the very tips of your toes, that wonderful comfort and peace moves you in and out of that tear. A moment, an experience that once had a command over you no longer does, that you are in control, you are at peace, a wonderful sense of well-being that stays with you, that moves through you, and that reminds you of your own power your control, that you can be in peace no matter where you are, no matter what you are experiencing, you can stay in this wonderful, peaceful place. You can. You absolutely can. Give yourself permission to do so. Let go of what no longer works for you. Trust yourself now and the reward that you will have, the reward to no longer fear. What a reward that would be. 
think of all that you can do and be and overcome when you recognize your own power to find peace in any moment. Allow yourself to have that now. Allow yourself to move through And that feeling of well-being and peace, power within you, stays with you today, tonight, and into the days and weeks ahead. That as you return back, moving up the hierarchy of fear, eliminating it one by one, step by step, you are doing so effectively. A lifelong change. Time is now. Time is right now. And as I count you back into your conscious realm, from zero, zero is deeply at peace, a wonderful calm and well-being, that at one you will feel that wellness and well-being that will remain with you as you sleep tonight and into the days, weeks, and months ahead. You give yourself that gift. You do that for yourself. That at two, as you move back and forth subconsciously, desensitizing yourself to the fear and the phobia you once had, you are finding true health, well-being, the master of who you are and what you can it all is coming alive in you now. But you're allowing that to heal you, to move you in positive directions. Time is now three. As you are now in that safe and wonderful place, calm, peace, knowing as you enter back into the tear again, you eliminate it each and every time, little by little, more trusting this journey and all that it does for you, believing in what you can do and knowing that you're doing it, doing it right now. And at four, from the very top of your head to the very tips of your toes, a wonderful sense of calm and peace moves through your bones, your muscles, your joints, allowing the body to feel so very heavy and relaxed. But the spiritual body continues to feel very light and free. So very light and free. And at five, his eyes open wide awake. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes open wide awake. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome back. Eyes open wide awake. Very good. Very good. I'm very, very proud of you for taking this step. And I know that it's a powerful one for you. And I absolutely know it will be so very effective. Take this journey as many times as you need. In fact, take this journey multiple times for even just one tier of the hierarchy of fear and phobias. Take your time. This is a very effective, systematic approach to desensitizing you to those anxieties and fears. I am Janie, and if you're not here in L.A. to see me personally for your own journeys that you need to work on, you can always find me here on YouTube. But even more than that, you can go ahead and set up an appointment with me wherever you are in the world through phone or Skype. Many of my clients are you right here in the YouTube world, and it would be my pleasure. I also can create um, personalized audio or video, so that is also an option, and you can go to my website to order any one of these services. My website is journeywithjanie.com, and Janie is J-A-Y-N-I. Thanks for taking this wonderful, effective, and powerful journey. I want to see you rid yourself of these fears and phobias because remember, peace is power and you have the power 
to find your peace. I'll see you next time.